Back at the Coliseum on a beautiful 74 degree night. Not a cloud in the sky and very little breeze to speak of. USC and Cal, the Trojans won the toss and deferred. So the Golden Bears will receive the opening kickoff from David Beeler. A great weapon for USC. Most of his kickoffs have been touchbacks. Not this one. Difficult to handle for Jeremy Ross, but now a lot of running room up the far side of the field. And he brought it all the way out to the 29-yard line. State game is a trap. Certainly was. Eight. Eight team on the road and after a rousing win. Stephon Johnson straight ahead. Cuts aside the ball all year. That was very costly on third and five. Sanchez back of the end zone intended for Williams and broken up. Well covered by Darian Hagan. Yeah, they're setting them up though. They're, they got play action anytime they want it. Anytime they want it, they have it. Kind of a half-hearted fake by Sanchez and he sacked for just the 10th time this year. The ball came out with the officials ruling him down by contact at the 37-yard line. So well-timed sack by the Cal defense. And a decision now for Pete Carroll. And he'll send the putter out. They like to go for it on fourth down, but not on this one with about six yards to go. Well, again, 3-4 allows you to bring different people. And this time, Michael Muhammad does a good job of not quitting on the plate and redirecting. As Sanchez steps up, he steps up and is able to finish. So Greg Voidnick punts, trying to drop it inside the 20. Not a terrible bounce for USC. All the way back to the 19 yard line. The fact that they were going with Longshore because he's less of a threat running the football. Riley started the first four games of the year, Longshore the next two, and then Riley the last two. Good throw by Longshore, but his receiver let him down there. Jeremy Ross couldn't make the catch. Just underthrew him a little bit. It's it's a well-designed play. They're going to move the pocket for Longshore to avoid some of that rush. They create a nice wall, and Ross has to come back for the football, a catch that he should make, and has really come on the past few games. But Riley's a little frustrated with himself because if he would have put it out there, Ross still might be running. Those are plays you have to make, Sean, if you want to be in this game against his football team, this defense. Longshore's had an up and down career. It seems that Riley's the fan favorite in Berkeley. Longshore forced to run, dumps it off, and Best has a first down to the 32 yard line. Give Ray Mawaluga credit for the tackle, but it's. Wrap him up, Ray. Final seconds of the first quarter. Longshore, another long count. And forced to throw on the run, a wobbly pass, but he has an open receiver, Cameron Moore, in the tight end for a first down in the USC territory at the 48. A 21 yard gain. It's a big gainer waiting to happen. I don't know if it's by design or not, but Cal's running the play clock down on almost every snap. Wow. Kerry Harris delivered a hit. But give Botang credit for hanging on to the ball. He lost his helmet but kept the football and has a first down at the 37 yard line on a 10 yard game. It's a good job of Longshore throwing to a spot and Botang going up and taking the shot from Mal Luga and Harris and yet maintaining grip of that football and losing his helmet which is a major problem in college football. Three have been won by the home team Texas Tech at home tonight. And in fact, the Cowboys haven't won there since 1944. On the run, it's intercepted. Was he inbounds? Yes. Kevin Thomas picks off Longshore. There is a flag now. Personal foul. Roughing the passer, number 10 on the defense. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Another really costly penalty against USC. This one against Brian Cushing. Well, they're bringing five, and Brian Cushing coming from the outside using his great speed. Gives him a little love tap. You know, if they're going to call it, they're going to call it like that. Eventually, you want to.